I just recorded like 10 minutes of this video and didn't record 10 minutes of this video. So let's do take number two. You guys will never see take number one. Here's take number two. Fuck. Free agency. We're about a week in between the legal tampering period and the actual free agency period. So a lot has happened. I already talked in another video about the situation with Dion Dawkins. So I won't go into that too much. And I'm sitting in my car in the parking lot at Costco and uh, I see this. I knew in my heart of hearts that he was trolling us, but I was still panicking that he wasn't trolling us. So I was just sitting in my car, refreshing Twitter over and over again until I got reassurance that Dion was indeed fucking with us. So we will now be dealing with Dion's trolling for many years to come. Josh is in love. She says, yeah. oh my gosh, I yeah. like your bulge. You know? Oh my God. As far as Bill's free agents go, there were six guys that I really wanted us to keep. I managed to get five out of six, which isn't bad. Daquan Jones came back. We tossed him a bunch of money, which he deserves. He was injured part of last season, but he's really good when he's there and we definitely need him on the line. We re-signed AJ Epinesa, who is one of our edge rushers. He's young, he's great. It was really kind of between keeping him and Leonard Floyd. Leonard Floyd was just gonna cost us too much money. He was following the bag and I respect that. That's totally fair. These guys have short careers. When you're done with your life's work at 35, you should be getting as much money as you can and saving it. Especially when I don't see Leonard Floyd going into a broadcasting career after this. He's kind of quiet. So he went over to the Niners and we signed AJ instead, who was also injured towards the end of last year. But when he was on the field, there were sacks, there were interceptions. He's got a great energy too. I think he really wanted to stay in town, same as Daquan did. There's something about playing for the Bills where you know you're on a contender every season, as long as you've got Josh Allen. And also they really love each other and the energy in that locker room is just incredible. So why not stay there and stay with a contender too? As long as you're making decent money, if it's a million dollars here or there, I don't know. That's just me though. Having worked in workplaces that aren't fun, sometimes the money's not worth it. We also kept Ty Johnson, who was our backup running back who came up off the practice squad last year and just was amazing every time we put him in. So I'm really glad we kept him. We re-signed David Edwards, who was sort of our sixth man on the offensive line. We're gonna move him to our starting guard since we're moving Connor McGovern to our starting center. So hopefully he'll get a lot more play. I'm glad we kept him. We re-signed Taylor Rapp. He's apparently gonna be one of our starting safeties now. We're pretty low on safeties. I love Taylor Rapp because he totally sacrificed his body for our team in the last seconds of the Dolphins game in week 18. And you gotta respect that. I'm sorry about his pectoral muscle. And then the last person I wanted to keep was Tyrell Dodson, who was our linebacker who came in as a starter once Matt Milano got injured. He did a great job. I understand he's probably more expensive than what we wanted to spend after his performance last year. So I wish him luck. We picked up a guy named Nicholas Morrow from the Eagles to be in that role as our third linebacker. I hear good things, but again, as I've said before, you get over to the NFC and I'm, sketchy on some of these names. I've never heard of this Mac Hollins guy that we signed as our backup wide receiver. He's also probably going to be playing on special teams as a gunner. Apparently he's really good at that role, which is where we had Sierra Neal before and we released him. So we've got somebody in that spot who's going to play sort of the Trent Sherfield and Sierra Neal role. That works for me. He also seems like a really cool guy who's excited to come to Buffalo. Even today, somebody stopped me to get a picture just because they saw I had I was with somebody from the Bills. After they're like, oh, sorry, they tried to take a picture, but I was so happy that they did that. I was like, it's been a long time, and like for fans who just love their team, that will never bother me. Trent Sherfield went to the Vikings. I'm fine with him being gone. He had that one really great catch against the Dolphins. Take the give over the top, deflected in the air. Sherfield dragged his feet. 
touchdown! But like literally seconds before that catch, he came in and I was like, ugh, Trent Sherfield. Nothing good ever happens with Trent Sherfield. That was like the one good thing that ever happened with Trent Sherfield. We're also keeping Cam Lewis, who's one of our backup safeties, which fine. Right now at safety, we've got Taylor Rapp, we've got Cam Lewis, and we've got Damar Hamlin. So that's a situation. I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Our big splashy signing yesterday was Curtis Samuel, who came from the Commanders and again, NFC. I hear good things. My understanding is he's a slot receiver a lot of the time, but he's pretty flexible. He's got great separation. He's really fast. His best season was with Joe Brady when Joe Brady was the offensive coordinator at Carolina. So optimistic there. Now that we've got him though, the question becomes, is he our number two guy or are we still looking to pick up a rookie in the first round? Are we maybe going to trade back out of the 28th spot and see if we can maybe end up with two second round picks or an early third round pick or something? It would be really nice if we could get both Cameron Kitchens at safety and Xavier Leggett, 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 Leggett. as our big rookie wide receiver. I really want a big receiver. We've got all these little 5'11 guys. I need like a 6'4 guy in there. I don't know if he's 6'4. He's big. There was sort of momentary chatter that we might get Eric Armstead from the Niners. That seemed far-fetched, but the idea was the Bills were trying to make a play based on the fact that his wife is from Western New York and went to UB and like maybe he'd come back for cheaper, but the Jags just gave him more money than we could possibly cough up. I'm getting pretty fed up with the Jags. Honestly, they've got Mitch Morse. They got Gabe Davis. They paid Gabe Davis too much money. Gabe Davis will be either catching passes from Trevor Lawrence or now Mac Jones. I think Trevor Lawrence is hugely overrated and I think Mac Jones is a giant asshole and I really wish I could be a fly on the wall in that quarterback room. I think there will be some drama and it'll be entertaining and we'll never see it. The Jags also franchise tag their Josh Allen, who's an edge rusher. We could use an edge rusher and it would be really funny to have two Josh Allens on our team, but we can't afford them now. A couple other guys we lost. We lost Puna Ford to the Chargers. Puna Ford was one of our defensive linemen who we basically never made active. So hopefully he'll go there and get a little bit more play. I wish him luck. Siren Neal, who we released last week, is going to the Dolphins, hanging out with Poyer. Dane Jackson, who was our backup cornerback, is going to the Panthers. Panthers lost Brian Burns, as I discussed, was probably gonna happen in an earlier video. Yet another total mismanagement of draft picks by the Panthers. I don't know, how do they keep fucking things up this badly. I don't know. I know there's some shenanigans with their owner, but like seriously, it's kind of out of control. But anyway, Brian Burns is going from the Panthers to the Giants. The Giants also picked up Isaiah McKenzie, who used to be wide receiver on the Bills. I saw a great joke on Twitter saying now he gets to legally kill Eagles twice a year. We still don't know why he got kicked off the Colts. I don't think the killing Eagles story was true. But now he's got some sort of like side hustle going on that he's talking about on Twitter. I think it involves Airbnb. I don't know. He's kind of nutty. Another former Bill is going to the Giants. Devin Singletary is going to the Giants. I was very happy to see him so successful on the Texans last year. I'm also very happy to not see him on the Texans this year because I think the Texans are getting a little scary. The Texans now have Joe Mixon, who they got from the Bengals. Running back stuff has been kind of crazy. The reason that the Giants needed motor was because they lost Saquon Barkley to the Eagles. Now he's arguing with Tiki Barber. It's a whole thing. You're dead to us, Saquon. Good luck. You're dead to me. NFC, do that over there. I don't want to have to deal with it. The Ravens took Derrick Henry from the Titans, which I do not like the sound of. He's getting up there, he's old, but he's not really showing a lot of signs of slowing down. The Commanders took Austin Eckler from the Chargers, who is also old and is showing some signs of slowing down, but I kind of have a crush on him. I'm interested to see how this goes. The Packers took Josh Jacobs from the Raiders and lost Aaron Jones to the Vikings. This seems like an interesting choice to me. Josh Jacobs had an amazing year in 2022 and then 2023 was pretty mad. Admittedly, there were a lot of quarterback shenanigans last year for the Raiders, which obviously affects how the defense is gonna set up on the line of scrimmage, which obviously affects the run game. So I get it. He might do better with Jordan Love. I feel like most people would do better with Jordan Love. Jordan Love's pretty good. Aaron Jones was 
still amazing last year. He's been such a huge part of the Packers for so long. Really weird to see him saying skull at a Vikings press conference. Skull! I have a lot of Packers fan friends. I used to live in Madison. I have not heard from them about this. That skull thing might have broken their brains. They might now be frozen staring into space in a Costco parking lot in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. So let's talk about the Vikings a little bit. Kirk Cousins will no longer be playing for the Vikings. The Falcons gave him approximately $1 zillion for a four-year contract. They spent $180 million on a guy who's I think 36 and coming off a ruptured Achilles tendon. So, you know, good luck to you. And he also blew up their spot like moment one in the first press conference, admitting that they'd been talking to him like a week earlier. So now they're in trouble for tampering. I'm sure it'll blow over. Gonna be another one of those NFL, we investigated ourselves and found we did nothing wrong sort of situations. So then the Falcons sent Desmond Ritter over to the Cardinals and the Cardinals sent them Rondell Moore, who's a wide receiver in return. I've never watched a Cardinals game in my life. So I have very little to say on this topic. So in the absence of Kirk Cousins, the Vikings got Sam Darnold from the Niners. There's no way they're starting Sam Darnold. They're like, what? They just traded with the Texans. They gave them their second round pick and next year's second round pick and I think a fourth round pick. Now they have two first round picks. I'm guessing they're trying to take those two first round picks and get further up in the draft so they can draft probably JJ McCarthy. I don't think they'll be able to get any further than that because I don't think the Bears or the Patriots or the Commanders are giving up those first three picks. They all need quarterbacks. Wow. Theoretically, the Bears need a quarterback. They can't seem to offload Justin Fields. Maybe they can get the fourth pick from the Cardinals. I've never watched a Cardinals game. This is where it would be important for me to know anything about the cards. I don't know if they're willing to give up that pick. We'll see. The Vikings also took Andrew Van Ginkle from the Dolphins. And then the Raiders took Christian Wilkins from the Dolphins. I'm happy to see him go. Josh Allen's balls are happy to see him go. The Raiders took Gardner Minshew for presumably their backup quarterback. Lots of stuff going on with quarterbacks. The Titans took Mason Rudolph from the Steelers. The Titans also spent like all their money on Calvin Ridley. So Mason Rudolph is gone from the Steelers. Now we've got Russell Wilson on the Steelers competing with Kenny Pickett. It's funny to me that the Steelers are paying like a million dollars a year for Russell Wilson and the Broncos are still on the hook for $37 million a year. I just hate Sean Payton so much. More quarterbacks. Seahawks took Sam Howell from the Commanders. Commanders signed Marcus Mariota as their backup and have the number two pick, I believe. So they'll be taking quarterback and number two almost certainly. The Patriots got Jacoby Brissett for their backup. They're at number three, they'll take whichever quarterback the Bears and Commanders did not take. Speaking of the Bears, Bears took Simone Biles' husband from the Packers. I still don't know his name. That's their husband. Yeah. She the goat? Yes. <laughs> and he is? Her wife. She's nothing, she's everything. But she seems very happy about it. I think she just likes that now she doesn't have to take a connecting flight from Texas. Flying into Wisconsin's a pain in the ass. Bears also took Keenan Allen from the Chargers for a fourth round pick. The Chargers are so fucking desperate. They're so broke. And I figure I have to talk about what's going on with the Chiefs because half the people watching this, if not more, are Chiefs fans. They just signed Hollywood Brown. Seems like an upgrade from MVS. Nobody seems to want MVS. They lost Willie Gay, which bums me out because I really did enjoy his prone, shirtless, middle of the street interviews at that parade. We own Vegas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> They re-signed Drew Tranquil, which is good for you guys. And they are absolutely breaking the bank to keep Chris Jones. I ain't going nowhere, baby! Which I think is a great idea, but does not bode well for being able to keep Legereus Sneed. But there's no word on where Sneed's going to end up. I'm very curious to see what happens with that. So he's franchise tagged. The Bengals have franchise tagged T. Higgins. T. Higgins wants a trade and nobody has picked him up yet, so... 
That's another one I'm still very curious to see what happens with. More big names out there. OBJ just got released by the Ravens yesterday. I'm not an OBJ fan. I think he's old and washed and overly cocky. I don't want him on my team. I think he'd be a really bad energy in there. He did basically nothing for the Ravens last year, as far as I could tell. I heard that the Colts might be interested in Sneed. They're also interested in Quandre Diggs, who was one of the last safeties available for the Bills to possibly snag like can we please get a safety i'm really uncomfortable with our current situation at safety there were a ton available in our price range and they just kept getting snapped up just like name after name kept showing up on my radar like maybe this guy gone maybe curl gone maybe chin gone there are too many for me to even name all of them those are the two that i remember so bill's still in need of big wide receiver i really really want one i want it Give me it. Safety. We still need some more help on interior defensive line and on the outside. I don't know. I'd be happy getting a, another center, maybe, in the draft. Cornerback? Maybe we'll take Sneed. We can't afford Sneed. <laughs> but wouldn't that be funny, you guys? Basically, we need everything. But since I know everybody asks, no, our window's not closed. If we have Josh Allen, our window's not closed. I think what I'm learning through this free agency period is that just there's a lot of shit that goes up and down. There are a lot of players out there that I don't really know who they are who could be perfectly good with Josh Allen. I would have liked to see some more big, fun, splashy moves, but we don't really have the money. It was pretty quiet there for a couple days. I woke up in the morning and there was Daquan. I'll take it. If anything has come up since I made this video, by the time I get this uploaded, talk about it in the comments. Any other names that I didn't mention that you guys think are worth talking about the trades and signings? Bring them up. I'm happy to chat in there too. So this has been fun. We'll see where it goes from here. Go Bills.